Now that we have completed the color grading process, it's time to export our footage. Let's take a look at the best DaVinci Resolve Studio export settings. The first step is to scroll over to ProRes Master. Let's go ahead and click on that. Change the type to ProRes 422. Turn on constant bitrate. This will keep some high quality throughout the process. Force sizing to highest quality should be turned on. Force debayer to highest quality should be turned on as well. Now to avoid that dreaded gamma shift, go up to the color space tag and change this to the P3 DCI color space tag. This is what most mobile devices, monitors, and cell phones are displaying videos on right now. Your gamma tag should be transferred over to the color space that is also being used the most. Gamma 2.4. This is what your laptops, your cell phones, and most monitors are using as well. So this is why it's important to get these settings right. If you have audio, keep this checked on. In this case, we don't, so I will disable it. Next is to go to file. And in this case, I want to export each individual clip, not everything together. So I'll change that to individual clips. Your file uses the source name with a unique file name. That way it makes it easy to identify and find it in post-production. I'll then select where I would like to save it. Let's just use my downloads folder. And then it tells me there's 54% remaining. Now I will double check my settings, add it to the render queue and click render all. Now you'll notice that we no longer experience that dreaded gamma shift that has been catching us all off guard and the clips match up 100% throughout the process of editing in Final Cut Pro or on another device.